And on this anniversary, we take a look back at the time President Kennedy visited Kern County. That's right, 23 ABC's Lauren Titus in studio this morning with details on the Kennedy's local visit just a few months before his assassination. Lauren? Good morning, Mike and Aaron. JFK is the only president to ever pay a visit to the Naval Air Weapons Station, China Lake. Fresh off the plane from trips to San Diego and Ventura, Ridgecrest was his final stop during a summer review of America's newest military weapons. It was a short visit the base will never forget. A weapons review stand in the Kern County desert was transformed into a grandstand at Naval Air Weapons Station in China Lake as thousands of staff members and their families pushed their way to the front of the crowd just to get a glimpse of America's youngest elected president. President John F. Kennedy arrived in Air Force One on Friday, June 7, 1963, and sat shoulder to shoulder with local military officials watching dozens of demonstrations on America's then cutting edge weapons technology. America was locked Locked in the Cold War with Russia, and China Lake was a pivotal home to technology and firepower on the front lines, including the Sidewinder missile. It wasn't just business for Kennedy, however. He even carved out time to talk with some local Boy Scouts. Following a tour of the base, Kennedy left Kern County behind on Marine One for a fundraiser in Los Angeles. But to remember the once in a lifetime moment, these commemorative coins were released with the president's image on one side and an image to represent why he was there on the back. Officials say it was. It was only a three and a half hour stop, but one that continues to live on to this day. It was five and a half months later that the president was shot in Dallas, Texas. Coming up in 30 minutes, the special praise he had for Kern County's service members. In studio, Lauren Titus, 23 ABC.